Hello, I'm Dixie Michelle, and today what I want to talk about is actually routing for inlaying the inlay into a fingerboard. I'm going to first tell you how I glue these cut out pearl inlays onto the fingerboard. One drop of glue, I use this LMI instrument maker's glue for that purpose. Now, use this glue very sparingly. Uh, when you want to take it off, you put it under a heat lamp for just a few minutes and the heat from the lamp will to make the pearl turn loose very easily. You can take this pearl off and leaving a scribe line. I'm talking also about scribing a line all the way around it. Then we're going to go to another setup where I actually use a Dremel tool to route inside the scribe line to install the pearl into the fingerboard. Okay, here are some of the uh, pictures that I used to glue on the pearl. Um, this piece of pearl has a star just drawn directly onto the pearl itself. And here's a blank piece of pearl that we used for that purpose. Here's a frog. It's an interesting thing I've used quite a lot. Now, here is what we're talking about today. This is a fingerboard that I've cut all the inlays out of the pearl and glued them onto this fingerboard with one drop of glue. Now, I'm, today I'm going to go through the action of actually taking these off here, leaving the scribe line, and then the Dremel tool will route this out and this piece will fit perfectly down in there. Here is the fingerboard that has already been inlaid and engraved. So these things you can see come alive after they're engraved. Here's another piece that uh, I put this inlay from an old banjo. I actually took a picture of the banjo neck at Kinko's Copies cut this out and pasted it on a piece of pearl which I'm going to cut out later. Alright, if you notice that I've got this glued on here and I've got an arrow pointing straight up and that tells me that I'm going to put this back in here once I take it off in the same place. All of these pieces are that way. So I'm in the process now of using the scribing tool and going around right this area And scribing all the way around this particular inlay. All right, that does that one. I'm gonna go to the next one. See, this one doesn't have quite as many curves. You go all the way around it. Okay, now this has been under the heat lamp for a few minutes, and I think it's just about ready to come off of there, so we're gonna see. i just take it with my fingers, give it a little twist. There, Glenn, see how easy that is? Now let's see if this one is gone. Yeah, that came off easy too. And you see my scribe line that's left? That's what we're gonna use to route it. Now I've torn down my setup I had and I've gotten these uh, inlays completely loose from here. And what I've left with is a scribe line. And I hope you can see that scribe line right there. For now I've got an extra piece of wood clamped on here and that's because on this first fret I'm going to need something extra out here to let my router ride on. So I'm going to stay right inside that scrub line and I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to start routing. Notice 
that the light shines through the big side and I look through the little side. got this fitted in here, I'm going to go on and route for each one of these pearl inlays and fit them all in there. Then I'm going to glue them in. Now what I use for gluing them in is this new version of super glue called Gorilla Glue. And this is a whole lot stronger than regular super glue. And it's what I use to put inlays in. Uh, after they're in there, I'm going to sand this down again because my inlays are sticking up just a little bit proud. So I'm going to sand the whole fingerboard again to where it fits the same radius it always did. The job is finished. Then, then it's going to be engraved like this one here. After it's engraved, then I'll put the frets in it. The frets are hammered into these slots that were previously cut. After the frets are in, they'll be dressed flat. And after that's done, the binding is put on the edge with this same super glue that I just showed you. Now that I've taken you through this process of how I do the inlays, the frets, and everything in fingerboards, I think I've covered all the ground. But if you have any questions, I wish you would use the comments on the videos. And, ask me for another video and I'll be glad to do that.